Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuzo Ochinyere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb up on that hill. OPM, Dr. Jesus in action. OPM, Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Our names are Mr. and Mrs. Martin Samadi. We live at 118 Upboro Road. I located OPM on the 25th of January through my wife. On that day of my locating OPM, I must say the truth, I used to be one of those people that condemned this church. <laughs> Clap for Dr. Jesus, everybody. Uh -huh. <laughs> Years back, my mother started this church. She has been with this church since then. But I'm not very convinced of the prayer of everybody around you that wants your success not to progress, to die. So I was not very sure of that kind of prayer. I joined it once or twice, then stopped. So when I got married, my wife took me to this place. We started the church. Along the way, I took assignment after a week, an assignment of restoration. After the assignment, we continued coming to church, and Daddy prophesied that let a miracle of how did it happen? Miracle of how did it happen? How did it happen? Eh? Continue. <laughs> A miracle of how did it happen? I went back home as a man, which I am. I was wondering what kind of miracle can be defined as how did it happen? <laughs> eh? I looked into so many businesses I've gone into. I was wondering the business will come booming so that I can ask myself the truth or say the truth that the miracle has happened, but it didn't come that way. Last two weeks, we had a gift of two cars, a CRV, and a uh, Camry 2.4. Clap for Dr. Jesus, everybody. On the, wait, in a single day. In a single day. A single day. Two gifts. Clap for Dr. Jesus, everybody. So, how did it? The real truth is this. I will, when we receive the gift, I came to my wife and I told her, we just got a gift. She said, hey, don't you think we should return one and take the other one? I said, no, we did not ask for it. But for me to be sure of if this car was given, I had to drive it back to the person's house. Mm -hmm. And I was waving the key in his presence so that he might change his mind. Let me take one. Oh. But... To so my very surprise, the next thing he was asking me, is there anything you want me to do for you concerning the car? <laughs> so today I'm here to dedicate the car. <laughs> Give Jesus a cup of it. Nina. <laughs> uh -huh. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Indeed, God is here. Mm. I located OPM a year ago, May last year. And I got married December, and I dedicated my wedding card here. Mm -hmm. After my wedding December, I brought my husband along. It was hard to convince him, though. But through the God of OPM, I brought him along. And February, I took assignment of Fruit of the Womb. So two months ago, I started having symptoms of pregnancy. I went to the hospital and they said negative. And I was confused. I said I've never had the symptoms before. Then just last week, Saturday, I went back there and I was confirmed two months pregnant. <laughs> Yeah. 
Lido. <laughs> What's the name of the baby? Carissa Aruma is a born hip nachi. <laughs> and I the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Indeed, God is here. We are Mrs. Roman, Mr. and Mrs. Romanus Mwewo. By the grace of God, I located this great commission last year, 31st August. Before I came this great commission, I was residing in Asia country, to be precisely Thailand. Before I came back, my senior brother and his wife have been telling me about the church. And I was going, or I was undergoing a very big problem. Mm -hmm. Since ever I visited Nigeria for the first time, 2009. And before I came back, I vowed to God that if you can lead me through all these years and abroad when I came back, I would give a thanksgiving. When I did that, the one I went back, I started noticing the downfall. Amen. Now, where did you do the thanksgiving? Is it in OBM? No, sir. Amen. There are some altars where the killers. There are some altars you pay your tithe. Who's a butcher? He came back, said, God, ah, if, you, if you leave me from abroad, I came back, I will, I will do a thanksgiving. After doing the thanksgiving, Satan carried a lot, butcher loads up. Eh? So, when I, like I said earlier, I was undergoing on the pressure of an issue of the fruit of the womb, and secondly, the financial problem. Then thirdly, there was an allegation laid against me, which I did not do. Then when I came back here, and when I met the man of God, he gave me an assignment, which <coughs> I did last year. Mm -hmm. He gave me an assignment on family deliverance. Then, after I did the assignment very well. After the assignment, then I was due to go back. Then, the daddy fixed a program. He fixed a program in GRA, seven days to get pregnant. Seven days to get pregnant! And he was about to go back to Thailand. And I come and fix seven days to get pregnant. I've been looking for a way to give the wife a letter. So since the uh, fruit of the womb is one of the problems, I told my wife I have to extend my ticket in order to partake in the program. Thanks to God, we did the program. We participated very well until the program ended. Then before I went back, I confirmed that my wife was pregnant. So I want to thank God for what he has done. May his name alone be praised in Jesus' name. Clap for the Jesus name now. Truly, God is here. God is really here. Honestly, God is here. Truly, God is in OPM. I am a testimony and I am a witness. Are you tired of being single? Are you tired of looking for a good job? Are people calling you barren woman? Do you need salvation? Dr. Jesus is the answer. If church cannot change you, what do you do? Change your church. Change your church. Change your church. Come this Sunday morning before 8 a.m. and God's General, Apostle Chibuzo, will attend to you and give you prayer assignment. And your story must change. Please don't know when the role of this individual is over. The role this pastor played in my life is over. It is time for me to move to my next level. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. God is here! God is here! OPM Dr. Jesus in action Dr. Jesus in action God is here My name is Mrs. Dokas Ella I just want to thank God for what God has done for me and my family I just want to thank him for protecting us I say let him 
Let alone, let him them alone be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. In this OPM, God has made me and my husband a landlady and landlord. Clap for that, to Jesus. In this month, God has added more one year in my year. I just want to thank him. Clap for that, to Jesus. Today, in this OPM, I just want to thank God for my husband's job. God has changed my husband's job to a better job, to a good job. Clap for that, to Jesus. Today, I want to dedicate the laser deep my husband bought for me. I let so deep my heart back up for me. Clap for the Lord Jesus. Okay. What number for baby? Excellency, Norma Ella. Excellency, anointed number the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Excellence. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is John Chile. My testimony goes like this. We are two neighbors. We got pregnant within the same period. So that my neighbor, unfortunately, she lost her pregnancy. And while she was explaining the ordeal to me, I noticed that I was shivering. I was having this goose pimple all over my body. The subsequent week, I was on the threat of miscarriage. I ran to UPTH. The doctors said they were going to insert a speculum into my body to find out what is really happening there. I became afraid. And I remember, I say, God, it is true that this my friend lost her pregnancy. That is for her, and it's not my fault. I'm a daughter of OPM. I'm, I'm a daughter, daughter of OPM. It doesn't make fault of my life. Take that on my left. It doesn't concern me. Eh? So I use Dr. Jesus oil and sand to anoint my tummy, and I keep on praying every night. To the glory of God, the pregnancy is restored. Then Clap for Dr. Jesus. Uh -huh. Reaching the, this last trimester, I went for a checkup. The doctor checked me over and over again and was, you know, behaving as if something is wrong. So I opened my, my doctor's file and I saw that he said that my, he cannot dictate the heartbeat of my baby. That he cannot even dictate, he can't even say much about the pregnancy. So he referred me to an emergency scan. So when I went for this scan, the scan report was saying that the baby is lying transverse. So, so, and I remember Look the same. It. Travers. It's like Tapolin. <laughs> eh? So, and I remember that this same friend of mine, she, this same thing happened to her. So, she ended up having, having an operation because the baby refused to turn. So, I, I didn't wait. I said I had better get going about it. I ran to daddy. Uh, three Sundays ago, and he prayed for me. That was on Sunday uh -huh. during the counseling. Uh -huh. So while he was praying for me, I was with this particular one. That I don't know if you can remember. Yes. I was with this particular one when he prayed for me. So after the prayer, he gave me the uh, assignment, and of course I included the prayer points in the case file. So to the glory of God, the subsequent week I went for the scan, for another scan. And this is a confirmation. When the prayer was made on Sunday. On Sunday. Then after how many days did you go for the second okay. I went to this scan. That was after, that was about a week interval. A week interval. Yes. After the prayer. Yes. Uh -huh. And the scan report says that my baby is very fine. That Look at it. Is Look at the new scan now. now. The heartbeat is normal. Clear for that, oh Jesus. After the prayer, the baby was like this. As soon as they finished the prayer, the baby returned like this. Give Jesus a clap of hands. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It doesn't take God a year to change your life. It takes God a second to change your life. I don't care how people are looking at you now. I don't care the shame you'll be facing. If I be a man of God, your situation must change. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Dr. Jesus is national. God is here. 
My name is Mrs. Veronica Lucky. I'm from Delta State. My testimony goes like this. I located OPM, I was nobody. I was nobody when I came to OPM. Not Nigeria. <laughs> uh? And what brought me here to OPM is affliction on my leg. And each time I walk, I'll be spending the money on my legs, poison. I oh. wish God healed me through anointing oil and olive oil. God healed I here through the oil. Uh -huh. Who shall have testified? Uh -huh. Then, what brought me here today of God used me to change the history of my family. And in my family, my father is the only son of the parents. And my mother married to my father. And my father gave birth to all seven girls. Seven girls, Nigeria Limited. Seven girls. Uh -huh. And the attack was too much on my mother because my father is the only boy, the only man in the family. And we too, when my father left, and we too, when we begin to marry and giving birth, my sister begin to give birth to guests. In oh, your sister begin to, is it, is it that trend? I prophesy. Every negative trend in your family today shall be broken. Shall be broken in the name of Jesus. The mother, the father happens to be the only son. When the mother, when the father pregnant the mother, pregnant one woman, pregnant two woman, pregnant three, how many women? Seven. Seven women. Now, the woman that was pregnant have now grown and are married. And their husband begin to pregnant them. Girl, girl again. Trend of girls. Eh? And in my family, if they want to describe what they will say, that woman that gave birth to girls. And each time we want to do anything occasion, it's only girls, girls. And my sister, my senior sister married, and he gave birth to three girls. The <laughs> second one married, gave birth to three girls too. <laughs> the other two gave birth to girls, girls. Oh, when it's my turn, I say, God, I don't want this. God, use me to change the history of my Use family. me to change the history of my father's house. Because I have come to opium, I must change the history of my family. <laughs> eh? And when my marriage was going on in the village, my traditional marriage, even the people that come and help us to cook, they were even saying that, oh, family, guess, 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 no, no boy, who is this man that wants to make a mistake and... Marry this one. <laughs> so I was crying and I prayed, God, use me to change the history of my family. And this seven Saturdays to get pregnant. Seven Saturdays to get pregnant. Program we did. Uh -huh. Seven Saturdays to get pregnant and I bought a baby boy cloth and me and my husband go to the program. <laughs> and after that, we do the, pra we do the prayer, everything. Then after that, I explained everything to daddy because I was scared. And my mother, each time he, uh, any of his daughter pregnant, he would be scared. God, give me, uh, give my child a male child. So when I pregnant, I pray, I pray seriously. Even this, my sister that just gave birth, she prayed, but upon the prayer, she gave birth to a baby girl. So when I heard that, I was scared and crying, God, give me a baby boy, Lord. Use me to change the history of my family. Mm -hmm. Show me that I'm coming to hope you will not be there, God, please. And God did it. And I explained everything to daddy. I called daddy on phone. I explained everything to him. After one week later, if I to even go to scan, I was scared. And if I want to leave that, I use this anointing oil here on my tummy. I will anoint the baby head and the leg. I say, God, whether the devil like it or not, you use me to change the history of my family. And everything God did, the, the day of my delivery, God used me to change me. This is the man of my family. This Stand up, everybody. I pray this. Oh God, and I use me to change 
the history of my family. Ah, are you ready to pray? There is somebody here. In your family, everybody is poor. You will be the first multi billionaire in that family. What am I seeing? I'm seeing something now. There's somebody here. All the family members are living in their father's house. Nobody don't build their own house. When they go village, they go and live in their compound. Something is about to change now. Are you ready to pray? What am I seeing? I'm seeing something. There is somebody here. All the women in that family, they will marry and come back home. Marry, come back. Marry, come back. All of them having problems with their marriage. You will be the first to change the history of the family. I'm seeing so many things. So many things. Jesus. Wonderful. There is somebody here. You will be the first to build two-story building in your father's compound. I'm getting more messages. Hmm. I see cars. Listen, you know, all the cars that are going in, no jeep has entered your father's compound. It's in Gwangwa, third hand, fourth hand, fifth hand, even eighth hand. No jeep, a quarter, a kinese, that has entered into that place. You will be the first to carry jeep that cover. Pray like this. Oh God, arise! Use me to change the history of my family. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. In Jesus we pray. Need down. It's done. It's the name of a baby. Oh, she okay. Please swear. Amen. I'm not in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you, in our being. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You've just listened to the testimonies. You've listened to the message. You are next to testify in the name of Jesus. But if you're not born again, I can lead you to Christ right now. Can you just lead the way right now? Lay on your hands. Let me pray with you. Repeat after me. Father Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm sorry. I promise not to go back to my old ways again in the name of Jesus. Now let me pray for you. Wonderful and great God, you say, that if my people that are come and in, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn it for their wicked ways, they will learn from heaven and I'll forgive myself and heal their land. He the Lord of children today in Jesus' name. Congratulations, you're not a new creature. All things have passed away and everything has become new. Now, you can see me. You can come and pick assignment. You can come and see me by the grace of God. I'll give you assignment. The assignment is free. You're not paying any money. In fact, if you go to any church and the pastor says, before you see the pastor, you pay money, that pastor happens to be an amber He's a thief, he's a rogue. There is nowhere the Bible says, before you see any man of God, you pay money, or you feel form, or you do this express. So, you can come and see me, and I'll give you assignment, and your story must change. In the name of Jesus. So, call me on this number, and Dr. Jesus shall meet you at the point of your need, in Jesus' name. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no